power outages across Maryland reached nearly 350,000. October 29, 2012, at 11 p.m., Baltimore Gas and Electric Company reported nearly 200,000 customers without power. Baltimore County has the largest number of customers without power about 51,700 though Harford and Anne Arundel counties was not far behind, with about 49,000 customers without power each. Also at 11 p.m. Pepco, which serves Washington and its Maryland suburbs, was reporting about 31,500 of its customers without power. Delmarva Power, which serves the Delmarva Peninsula, was reporting about 50,000 customers without power in its Maryland service areas at that time. Chop Tank Electric Cooperative was also reporting about 6,300 customers without power in the Maryland portion of the Delmarva Peninsula. Potomac Edison was reporting about 52,600 customers without power in Western Maryland. Southern Maryland Electric Cooperative, serving Southern Maryland, was reporting about 8,700 customers without power. Since BGE storm operations began at 10 a.m. Sunday, power has been restored to about 44,500 customers. BGE has requested 3,000 additional field forces from outside the service area to assist with power restoration. So far, 1,900 extra workers have been confirmed, meaning they are either already working in the service area or are en route, said Rob Gold, a BGE spokesman. Shortly after 4 p.m., BGE suspended work for crews using elevated bucket trucks because winds were becoming too intense for work to be done safely, he said. We can safely do overhead work with bucket trucks when the wind exceeds 25 miles per hour, said Jeanette M. Mills, BGE's Vice President for Customer Operations and Chief Customer Officer, in a statement. Crews will continue to respond to true emergencies, such as downed wire situations, Gould said. From those locations, the crews will be dispatched to the communities where they will be working, Gould said. BGE is encouraging all customers whose power goes out even customers with smart meters to call 877-778-2222 to report the outage. Along with the outages came calls from politicians for Maryland's electric utilities to improve their infrastructure. State Senators Jim Rosapip and Brian Frosch released a statement Monday evening saying that Hurricane Sandy exemplifies why the utilities need to acknowledge climate change and modernize the electric infrastructure. It's past time for BGE and PEPCO to move into the 21st century by making scientifically based business decisions and investing in burying power lines and other modernizations of our electric power infrastructure to withstand extreme weather caused by climate change, Rose Apip said in a statement.